Katie Play Stuff. Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. So today I am at work, and my boss isn't here, and I have to work for like two more hours, and it's going really, really slow. So I thought, why not do another part of the Crooked Man? Um, the phone might start ringing, people might walk in, but I'll just pause it and skip on. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I know I look like a corpse. I know I look pretty scary. But you don't have to stare at my face. Just watch the game. So, let's get started. Okay, so last time I played this, for some reason it didn't save. I don't really know why. Um, so now I had to completely, like, speed run the whole beginning of the game again. Um, so that's why it says I've only been playing for ten minutes when really I played for, like, half an hour last time. But, uh, I just wanted to make sure that my game saves, so I have an extra save file down at the bottom, just in case I do, like, a whole thing and then it doesn't save, so at least I still have something. Um, so that's what that's for. Okay, so now we are driving the five hours to that special place that we read, um, that address. We don't really know where we're going, um, but of course it's creepy, obviously. Jeez, it's gotten dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? I guess I'll have to check. So now apparently we're here searching for the former tenant. Um, so I guess we'll just go in. A faded board. Hotel Ruinheim. Giving you a serene stay. Yeah, it looks pretty serene to me. And it's empty. Hotel register. So, I mean, what, are we just supposed to, like, look around right now? It's locked. There's wire around the doorknob. Clock has stopped. Ugh, this is gonna be a lot of searching, I can already tell. Keyholes painted over. Keyholes painted over. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this one's open. What is in here? Something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Me, dear mom, dad. Treasure hunt. That's interesting. <laughs> Treasure hunt. I guess some kid here drew this. <laughs> sure, I'll look for your treasure. Dresser is empty. Hmm. Looks like a bathroom. Okay, let's see what we have. Cell phone, lighter, law school leaflet, brass key, cigarettes, notebook, scrap, paper scrap. So we don't have that treasure map apparently, so... If I want to look at it, I have to go back to this page. That's nice. So I might as well remember what it looks like. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. It's on the top right square. So I guess I'll just look for something that looks like that. Same thing. Let's see what's upstairs. Ugh, all these locked rooms. Bar. Locked. Uh, of course. What the heck? I can't get into anything. We got, what, a dining room? You know, this This looks like just like that treasure map. The three and the three and the three. So whatever we're looking for should be up here, right? Found a gold key. There's a paper beside it. You found the treasure. Congrats. Thanks. Gold key. This thing is creepy. Mounted deer. We got a piano clock is stopped where is everybody that's what i'm kind of wondering like is this place abandoned like what's the reason for nobody being here <sighs> that just scared the crap out of me oh my gosh 
There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. Found a notebook scrap. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home didn't men did mention that. And our special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? I have a feeling that that guy is dead. Like, he came here probably looking for his girlfriend or being all upset or whatever, and he definitely died, or he's still here somewhere. He's either here or he's dead. There's a notice on the door. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Use the gold key, we got him. Oh, there's another one. Key to 109. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. The owner's collection of books. Please read them at your leisure. Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be alert by your kindness, and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cold book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. You know, that kind of reminds me of our main character, because... What the? that sound? There's somebody out there. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, it kind of reminds me of our main character because he's kind of cold-hearted. Well, he seems like it. And he's a little bit sad and depressed. Um, but I bet he's nice inside. Who's out here? Is someone there? Of course no one's there. Oh god. Okay, what do we get? Key to what? Key 109 key. Okay. So I'm guessing it's the first floor. It's 108 to 115. So 108, 109. Ooh. Something on the top. Why can't I get it? Can I push one of these chairs? Yeah! Now I can see what's on the dresser. Wire cutters! That means I can get back into that, uh, that one room that has wire around the door. Ooh, this music! So romantic! Wait a second. This is piano, right? There's a piano upstairs? That's not music, that's somebody upstairs playing the piano. That's so sketchy. Oh god. Who's there? Ah! I'm, I'm sorry, I... I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I, um, s sorry I yelled at you. I'm not on the staff for the hotel or anything. H who are you then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh, Sissy then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know? I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right, well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here for a while longer, so I could help you find it. R really That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. I- I'll be going then. Um, David? 
You be careful too. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. Shady? That girl is like... She is in here randomly in this abandoned hotel. Maybe there's something up with her. Because she's like, be careful too. So... She probably knows something's up. Okay, so we have wire cutters for this door now. Cut the wire. Let's see. Full of miscellaneous goods, miscellaneous goods. Crumpled paper. Notebook. OX. Door in room 107, bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on the page. Okay, key to 107. Lined with journals and account books. Lined with tourist magazines for the area. No doorknob. I hear something. That's that same noise from the apartment. Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. Absolutely not, David. Owner's room. Whoever is in there is the same person that was crying in our apartment. There is no way in heck I want to go in there. Ugh. Okay, where am I going? 107. 107. Okay. 107. There's our doorknob. The doorknob. Oh yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm. Maybe it would work on that door without a knob. It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. How would he know it's the same kind? He just remembers doorknob holes. The door has no knob and won't open. This door doesn't have a knob? Why don't we put our knob on it? <laughs> put our knob on it. Anyway. Alright, let's go to that door without a knob. Knob is such a weird word. Knob. Knob, 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 knob. Got our knob for the door without a doorknob. Okay. Lined with novels, lined with tourist info and maps, lined with hotel administration. <sighs> Book of the Month The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay. Phone. Trash. Ooh. Small door that which won't open. It doesn't seem to have a lock. So, it doesn't have a lock. How do I open this thing? I don't know. Well, it looks like that tile is like a different color. Oh, I was right. This tile seems a little loose. Stomp on it or do nothing. Let's stomp on it. I am, like, the smartest person in the world. Let's save it there. I'm just gonna keep that one there just in case. I'm gonna make another save file. I know this looks really weird, but I read a couple things about the game, and I heard that some of the choices you make in the game change what happens. So I'm gonna have at least two files just in case. Alright, let's go down here. It opened. Was there a mechanism in the floor? Obviously. There's a ladder, and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Maybe not, David. Like, he's going down here, what, you think the tenant's gonna be down here? I doubt it. I can't see a thing. I need a light. Oh, God. What do we have? A lighter. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Full of unused equipment. Lamp oil. Miscellaneous goods. What is that? Is that a just is that a shadow? Oh god. A figure crouches on the floor. Uh, are you okay? Were you locked in here? What is that? Wh what? Uh, are you okay? Whoa! 
Oh my god. It's coming after me. Ah! Crap! Let go! Let go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Lock it! <sighs> what was that? It its neck was all crooked. It can't have been human. Am I just going nuts here? The thing. It couldn't have been real. Must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired, is all. David, it just grabbed your leg. Like, you're not seeing things, you're seeing real things. Oh, I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came here for? If I just got grabbed by that thing, I would leave this place. There's no way in heck that I would be here still. And he's gonna go look for Sissy and, like, oh, did you get your stuff? David is a moron. Well, she's not up here. I now we gotta go look for her. Ah! Was that sissy? I don't. Not here. Sissy! Wh what happened? I I went to the window and the floor gave way. Wh what should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. Uh, n no, I, I can't. I I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. A gap this big. This is no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble quick. Hurry, I'll catch you. He got her. Th that was too close. Are you okay, Sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh, so sweet. He kind of looks like Link from Zelda. So scared. I was so scared. No more. I I don't like the dark. Why? Why do I? I... It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. I, I'm sorry. I, I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you're looking all alone. You can, al you can always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present, or... It was a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me. After my own life. Ah, uh, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it, too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but... Can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh. You know that little about the person you're looking for? <laughs> you're a strange guy, David. I, I am not. There's just some things I wanted to ask, and, and I don't know. He just looks because... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Yeah, we gonna get a girlfriend. Okay, now where do we go? I have no idea. We didn't get anything new. The basement door's open. Maybe I gotta go down there. Oh, I don't wanna go down there. I don't wanna go down there. I don't wanna. But I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Hmm. 
I'm saving again. Oh, it's not there. Oh, look. There's something here. Got a bronze key. Bronze key to what? Probably not... Not one of these rooms, because these have room numbers. Need... Maybe the bar? Yeah! We in the bar! The journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. OX. A toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence, and stalling weird stuff at the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage. All his silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Ah, oh, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. Who would write that about their boss? Because what if you found it? The door to the food storage is just the far end of the first floor, right? A passcode on food is pretty crazy. Passcode on food. Uh, there's a book in the library on the table. Cry of the Unseen. Passcode. Great. I to J, K to O. How am I gonna find this stupid thing? S to D. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on the shelf, right? Oh, here we are. Absolutely not am I reading this. Ugh. Is there a passcode, like, in, in it? It's gonna take me hours! I don't see any numbers in here. Wait, it went from chapter two, now it's on chapter four. Oh, maybe three is it? Four, five. Oh, I missed six and seven. And nine. So what is that? Three, six, seven, nine. Well, let's see if that works. No. He's out. No, no way. Th that monster did it really? Oh my god, run, David! It's it's coming this way! Crap, I gotta escape! Oh my god, this is me running, this is me running. He's so fast, he's so fast! Oh my god, I didn't save the game, I didn't save the game, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my god, oh my god! Aha, if I drop him down here... Whew. How did I do that? How did I do that? I almost died and I did not save my game. That's why I need to save the game. <sighs> what is that monster? So what I saw earlier... Damn, I can't believe such a thing exists. But there's no way it's coming back now. The room's under lock tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. Okay, that looks like a good time to save the game.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop it there. Um, that was insane. Like, that was nuts. And that monster, I let it out. This is all David's fault. Because he wanted to snoop around the stupid hotel, and he opened that trap door, and now that monster is running free. That crooked-necked freak is running free, and it's probably gonna kill Sissy, and it will probably kill David. So, awesome game. <laughs> no, actually, this game is pretty awesome, and I'm really excited about this. Like, this is definitely creepy, and it... It's very exciting, so I'm excited to see what happens next. Thanks for watching!